Um, I'd say Alzheimer's is about 10 years ahead of every other dementia as far as knowing that. <laughs> so, um, without, and, and, and just to clarify, so with Alzheimer's disease, we know that there is some genetic risk. So you may inherit a specific gene from your family it doesn't determine definitively whether or not you will get Alzheimer's. It significantly increases your risk. The highest that risk goes is about four times the general population. Um, and that is something called, that we call the APOE4 allele. That's the most common gene out there that we know about. No, so, and, and I think that's because um, as complicated <laughs> as Alzheimer's is, it's plaques and tangles. With vascular dementia, that becomes a huge umbrella term for a lot of different things. So anybody who's had a stroke, there is a risk of dementia after a stroke. But that's a very different, injury to the blood vessel than having untreated hypertension is. But untreated hypertension will lead to a dementia. But the type of damage is different. And so we're at really the early stages of finding the plaques and tangles, if you like, of vascular dementia. Um, and it's what's probably going to end up happening is that you're going to have different subtypes. So it won't just be Alzheimer's <laughs> or it won't just be vascular dementia. It'll be you have small, and we're already doing this a little bit on the research side, it'll be small vessel disease. Small vessel disease, uh, mini strokes, and um, people who have had chronic hypertension in mid and late life. They're the main small vessel disease things. Stroke is a, is a large vessel problem. Um, it's always larger vessels that, um, that are affected in a stroke. Um, you then have uh, what we call microinfarcts, which are like many strokes. But again, depending on the brain region, determines the symptoms. So it's, it's a very different beast. To, to Alzheimer's. What we're trying to find in the lab is common pathways, right? So is there something that changes in all of those things that we can then try and hit with a drug? Because that would be the goal, right? It wouldn't be that we have a drug that treats 10 people if we can find something that will treat everyone with vascular dementia if there's a single common pathway somewhere that, that we can get. Inflammation might be that, actually. Um, it looks like inflammation might be that. Or well, there's a process called angiogenesis, which is the brain tries to make new blood vessels. Um, and that probably doesn't work well uh, when the brain just is, is, is old and is not functioning very well. These, it, it's trying to repair itself, but it doesn't repair properly. And that probably exacerbates the problem rather than, than helps the problem. And so we've got some information in the lab that that looks like it might be um, a process that we can target for vascular dementia.